150 miles up the Hudson River from New York City stands the earliest and best example of Dutch colonial urban architecture in the Hudson Valley, the cradle of New Netherlands, and, as Russell Shorto calls it in the island at the center of the world, the first multi-ethnic, upwardly mobile society on America's shores. Historic Albany Foundation just recently acquired this architectural rarity, the Van Ostrand Radliff House at 48 Hudson Avenue. This building is an important piece of America's Dutch history and a rare and tangible link to one of the country's earliest urban settlements. We need your help to raise $10,000 in 30 short days for immediate repairs to the building. Rampant progress over the last 285 years has swept away virtually all of the Van Ostrand Radliff House's contemporaries, and time and decay have threatened this unique holdout from the earliest days of the country's history. Built in 1728 in Albany, New York, the house at 48 Hudson Avenue originally stood just outside the city's stockade, its angled front wall a reminder of the long-gone fortification's southern face. A decoratively molded beam from the house's original facade, long buried beneath later modifications, is a uniquely Dutch architectural feature and is one of only three surviving in North America. Rarer still is the framing of two of the house's fireplaces, which are unique to Dutch urban construction and are the only known examples of their kind left in what was New Netherlands. Altered and in grave need of repair, 48 Hudson Avenue stands in the center of a motley network of streets that represents one of the earliest surviving urban plans in America. An adjacent small park is often cited as the oldest surviving public green space in the country, having been originally set aside as a communal pasture in the early 1600s. Thank you for helping Historic Albany raise $10,000 to make crucial repairs to the Van Ostrand Radliff House. Your support, in any amount, is key to the survival of this rarest of all urban buildings in America's first cultural melting pot.